used to ride in exchange for chores. Mucking stalls, cleaning the horses, the works. I lived in Amesbury, Mass, and I used to ride my bike all the way to Salisbury, New Hampshire, to Maryland Shays Stable. There, I would ride the off-the-track thoroughbreds and help retrain. Both the horses and myself learned a lot, and you know, I learned a lot from that farm. I think it was less about learning to ride and more about learning to be a horseman. I met Christine in 1988, and no, I didn't know a single thing about horses. By the time we had our second daughter, we already owned our first horse as a family. We began our family's show career in 2001. At that time, we had been calling our homestead Southwood Stables. At that point, we had Scooter, an Arabian gelding, Gemini, a quarter horse gelding, Candy, a quarter horse mare, Dancer, an old, old pony, and a paint gelding named Scotch. My oldest daughter, Ashley, was obsessed with horses, and we decided that it was a good time to start showing them. Scotch was my horse, and I was his kid. We used to compete in almost everything, primarily in Western style riding, but also in English. Not to brag, but that horse was special. We won in almost everything that we tried to do. I wasn't really all that into horses. No, I was more of a video games and hanging out with people kind of person. By the time I was eight years old, my mom bought me my first pony. Uh, his name was Buck, and boy did he live up to that name. It was a few years before we realized that we needed a lot of help training this pony. After researching, we ended up at Wingspur Farms in Candy. We sent Buck along to be retrained, and after a few months, it was like he was a completely different pony. While he was in training there, I, I also started my own learning lessons. Once I actually started learning and actually riding, I fell in love with the sport. And after a year or so, we bought our first Morgan show pony through Wingspur. Indy has been with us ever since. Frankly, I didn't like him. Indy was too fragile, too delicate looking for my taste. But after quite a few lessons at Wingspur, I was stuck on the Morgan. By 2013, all of the horses were retired but two. Indy and a new addition, and yet another Morgan. And they were both feeling really confident. So we decided that it might be time to try something bigger. We decided to go into the Grand National and World Championship. At first it seemed like we were working really well as a team. To cut costs, we started doing things ourselves. Though, unfortunately, it seems that may have upset Tammy at Wingspur. Since then, she, she had started driving a wedge between me and Ashley. By the end of 2013, my confidence was at an all-time low. It wasn't until the spring of 2014, when we started riding with Diana Levesque at Bella Vista Stables, that I came to realize that me and my horses had a potential I'd never seen before. It was so nice to see Trisha ride to ride instead of ride to compete. There was just something so much more special to it. 